The Olympic motto is Sidious Altius Fortius, which is Latin and means faster, higher, stronger. While not everyone wants to become an Olympic champion, almost every person wants to improve their fitness at some point in their life. Even if they don't necessarily want to get faster or stronger, they often just want things to get easier. This is where the FIT principle comes in. FIT is an acronym that stands for Frequency, Intensity, Time, and Type. The FIT principle is based on the concept of overload, which is simply about increasing your exercise in one way or another. Over time your body adjusts to the overload and causes the exercise to get easier along with other benefits like being stronger, faster, or arriving at a healthier weight. The first component of the FIT principle is frequency, which is increasing how often a person exercises. If a person is exercising three days per week, they could increase it to four days per week. The second component is intensity, which is increasing the workload or making the training more challenging. This can be accomplished by lifting heavier weight or running faster. The third component is time, which is how long a person is exercising. If a person typically exercises for 20 minutes, they could increase their workout time to 30 minutes. The final component is type, which is the type of exercise being performed. A change in the type of exercise can help a person make improvements. For example, jogging and cycling are both cardiovascular exercises and provide many of the same benefits. A person who always runs could implement some cycling to change their type of exercise. The important thing about overload and the FIT principle is that a person should never implement multiple components of the FIT principle at a time. This means you should not increase your frequency of exercise and your intensity at the same time. You should modify one area, like the frequency, and then once your body has adjusted to that change, you can implement a different component.